Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, what have I got for you? It's the US medium tank, the M4A3 Sherman with a 150mm howitzer and the M1 nose blade and this is made by Academy. Uh I've been looking for one and they've been going for absolutely stupid prices on eBay and this one came up I put a bid on it it started at 99 pence I put my bid on and I got it for £5 plus £3.95 posted in the packing I actually stole this from that man but there again a bid's a bid and that's what they have to accept anyway it's uh, well originally I was going to just use the blade off this and I was going to get a, a, a Dragon Sherman something a little bit more engineered and I was going to swap the blade over or maybe actually make my own scratch build one but uh, now I've actually got it that's all gone out the window I've changed my mind and I'm just going to build this in its entirety should I say right on the side of the box just some nice uh, pictures of the uh, finished kit uh, on the other side you've got it in English, Japanese and all the other countries French and some more nice little pictures of it finished this is 135th scale as you can see down the corner, we'll get the box off, lid off. All right, uh, workshop manual, which is going to come in very useful. We've got sprues. We've got two, four, six sprues. And we'll, I'll open the bags and we'll have a, a bit closer look. But by the look of it, it's been trying to get out. It's been eating its way out of that plastic. We've got the lower hole, and uh, I can't see the date. I think that's 2007. We'll have a closer look in a minute. And then we've got the famous little uh, decals, decals, stickers, transfers, whichever you want to call them. And also we've got a little sheet telling you that if you injure yourself, they're not going to be responsible. Right, we'll have a look at the uh, workshop manual first. There we go. Just a little bit about the uh, tank and that in Chinese and Japanese. Uh, first page, we've just got the bogies, the lower hole, dry sprocket, uh, rear plate putting the bogies on uh, the front uh, I can never remember the name of that but the front bit I'm no expert I don't claim to be, never will be then we've got the upper hull grills, little fenders mud, mud guards whatever you want to call them <coughs> going on, excuse me hatches uh, the gun mount and then we've just got all the smaller bits and pieces going on Pioneer tools uh, Track adjuster uh, It's not a over complicated kit uh, -dum -bum. And We've just got the turret The gun I'm going to order an aluminium barrel for that I've, well, to be honest, I've ordered one from Poland uh, that's coming in the next uh, week and uh, what? I didn't see no tracks in there ah <laughs> no it's ah, alright I'm getting uh, over myself I know because I slung the damn things out I'll go to, go to them in a minute uh, top to it just all the bits and pieces very to me this is very simple this is a bit I, I'm interested in the uh, dozer blade I think that's going to look pretty smart uh, the 50 cal now I've already got a, a barrel and a upgrade set which I'm going to use on that 
make that look uh, quite nice. The tracks are rubber tracks, and I hate rubber tracks. And that's the reason why they're not in the box, because when I had a look, I screwed them up and slung them in the bin, because I just hate them. And I've ordered from Hysterex a nice set of uh, metal tracks to go with this. So, that will be nice. And just finishing off, putting the blade and that on. And some, uh, some fuel cans. Then just tell you the uh, where to put your stickers, transfers, and you know, all your bits and pieces. And on the back, we've got a sprue map. And that's it on that one. So I shall drop the camera down, I'll open these bags, and we'll have a look at the screws. Right, I've been indoors, I've been through the uh, uh, recycle bin. <laughs> And I've pulled the tracks out because there is people out there that do get on with these tracks, and it's uh, wrong with me. And I should I should show them. Uh, like I say, these are just the rubber band tracks that you fold over, uh, push the two little pins through them two little holes. You get a hot screwdriver or something, and you attempt to melt them together to form one track, which every one I've done never works they always fall apart and that's the reason why I dislike them I hate them and I think I did say that I'd already ordered some from Hysterex Hysterex some nice new metal ones uh, which will go on this very nicely so they're the tracks I'll show you them because now they are going in the bin Right, uh, next we've got the hole when the cam focuses. Uh, nothing too special on there. This camera is really playing up today. A uh, little bit of detail, but there again, it's the model that makes it look right in the end. That's that one. Through is just the wheels, which all look uh, pretty okay to me. Uh, well, there's no bigger hunks of flash kicking around, and that's the main thing. All quite nice and neat. We have got two of them with the wheels on exactly the same one for either side. So I won't bother doing both of them, going through them, but I'll just show you that one. Next one up, we have got the turret, which looks nice. I'm happy with that. And we've got some, uh, when the camera focuses again, we've got some nice little uh, jerry cans. Mind you, that 50 cow looks quite nice as well. Some little grab handles, front sponson, lower turret ring, a few other pioneer tools, which I don't really know what academies are like, so I don't know if I'll be doing some little modifications. I'm all up to that now. Uh, this second sprue's got dry sprockets. Toe hitches, uh, driver's uh, front hatches, and the coaxial gunner. I think I got that right. And then we've got the main drive uh, covers, and the camera focuses. It, it, it's really plain up there. It's the sun. Get a bit of light change and you don't want to know. Are we playing? I'll put it down there and we'll try again. Let it focus in. There we go. I'll keep it down there. I hate it when it goes in and out like that. That all looks good to me. There's no flash. There's nothing like that. Nothing to uh, <coughs> moan about. 
Alright. There's the upper hull. It's got some nice little weld seams in there. That looks all nice. I haven't got a problem with that. Like I say, it's very clean, there's no flash. But like I say, the proof is in the pudding, is uh, when you actually come to put it together. Uh, there we go. There's the gun uh, support. Open and uh, an open one and a closed one. But I don't think that uh, will be uh, an issue on there because it definitely won't be in the gun mount. And the final sprue, this is the sprue item. Put that down there. This is the, the dozer blade itself. There we go. Which seems to be all okay. No flash. Nice and clean. The hydraulic pipes. I might have to redo all these. I did them on. Have to redo them on the uh, armor bulldozer because uh, they're very. They, they just snap. But, uh, there's no problem with that, over that. It all looks quite nice. Yeah. And uh, this camera, if it keeps doing what it's doing, I think it's going to go in. That's going to go in the bin. Well, right, that's the last of the spoons. Thank goodness. Uh, we've done the instructions. Well, have a look at the famous, uh, whatever you want to call them, decals, decals, transfers, or stickers, whichever you want to call them. Uh, just the stars and a few little numbers there. Nothing too special. So uh, that's it for this one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.